Hey everyone, it is Sling Man here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to secure your Roblox account. So as you guys probably already know, there are many people out there with bad intentions that will try to steal your Roblox account and they may be after things such as your Robux, your Lemonades, or if you have a lot of progress inside of any games, they may be after your items in those games. And so securing your Roblox account reduces the chances of your account getting compromised. And if you have a lot of these security measures that I explained in this video in place, it will reduce the damage someone can do if they somehow get access to your account. So the first thing you want to do to secure your account is to use a strong password. So ideally you want to use a password that is at least 12 characters long and don't give it out to anyone. So this includes uh, friends or maybe even your family. Well, except maybe for a trusted parent, but don't give it out to anyone else. And if anyone online asks you for your password, make sure you don't share it with them. And so when creating a password, it's important to use a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. And also make sure your password isn't easily guessable. Don't make your password something obvious, such as your birthday or a pet's name. And don't reuse passwords on other sites. And so the reason why you don't want to use the same password on all your websites is because if one site gets breached, it puts all your other accounts at risk. So if a hacker got access to one of your passwords and you used the same password on all, all the websites, well, they could actually log into your other accounts as well. And that is why you should use a different password for uh, every site. And I know it can be hard to like remember all of them. So that's why you could maybe use a password manager or you could write them down and keep it in a secure place. So the next thing you need to do to secure your Roblox account is to add a verified email. So adding an email to your Roblox account allows you to recover your account in case you forget your password or if your account gets compromised. And I would recommend using a separate email for Roblox only and don't use it for anything else and don't tell it to anyone. And this is to prevent something called social engineering. So what social engineering is, is basically if someone knows your personal information, it could actually be used against you. And I did uh, talk about this in one of my previous videos, but basically someone could email Roblox support pretending to be you. And if they provide inf enough information about you, it could actually trick Roblox support into giving them your account. So that is why I use a separate email for Roblox only as it reduces the chances of someone trying to uh, hack your account through this method. So the third step to secure your Roblox account is to enable two-step verification. So what two-step verification will do is it makes it so that when you log in, you have to type in an additional code that will be sent to your email or an authenticator app. So an authenticator app will generate a code every 30 seconds and you will need this code to log into your Roblox account after you type in your password. So that way, even if someone has access to your password, they will need that code to log into your Roblox account using just your password won't be enough. So I use an authenticator app and that is probably what I would recommend to most people. But if you do decide to use this method, make sure you save your backup codes and keep it in a secure place. Because if you lose your phone, for example, because the authenticator app is gonna be on your phone, you won't be able to log into your Roblox account with that code that is generated by the authenticator app. So it is possible to set up the authenticator app on multiple devices. So if you have multiple phones or maybe you have an iPad or something, you can actually set it up on each of those devices. As long as no one else can access it, it will still be secure. And so you could also use security keys. That is also another method that Roblox supports, which is a physical device that you have to plug into your device whenever you log in. And this is also a very secure method. However, make sure you don't lose that device if you decide to go with this method, because otherwise it will lock you out of your Roblox account. So the fourth step to secure your Roblox account is adding a pin. So adding a pin to your account will make it so that you can't change certain settings such as your email address or password without knowing the pin. And I think there are also some other things that you can't do such as uh, changing the owner of a group. So if you have a lot of Robux in your group, for example, and someone hacks your account, well, they can't actually transfer the group to their account because they don't have access to your pin. And they also can't change settings such as your email or password without knowing the pin. And also make sure that the pin isn't easily guessable. Uh, don't make it one, two, three, four or your birthday someone could easily guess that. So the fifth tip to secure your Roblox account is don't add a phone number. So you might be surprised to hear this, but adding a phone number to your Roblox account can actually make it less secure. And this is because of a method known as SIM swapping, where someone calls your phone service provider pretending to be you, and then they can redirect uh, the text messages to their phone. And if someone does this, they can click on forgot password and then use your phone number because any text messages will be sent to their phone and then use that to recover your account. And I know that some Roblox developers have actually fallen victim to this method, the SIM swapping method, and they actually got their accounts hacked this way. So you can call your phone service provider and tell them to add a pin to your phone number, and this will make it less likely for someone to hack your account using this method. But personally, I don't have my phone number added to my Roblox account. So the final way to secure your Roblox account is to turn off messages or set it to friends only. 
So this will prevent random people from contacting you, and it also reduces the chances of you getting scammed, since random people can't message you on Roblox. And you also want to be careful who you friend on Roblox, because someone could pretend to be your friend, and then they could actually end up trying to scam you. And this also goes for other social media platforms such as Discord, because scammers are everywhere. And I actually made a video on that last week about eight types of scams on Roblox, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. And that is it for today's video. Those are six ways to secure your Roblox account. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, and I will see you all in the next video.